So what is this Power BI Pro, this Power BI service that I'm talking about and Power BI Premium? Well, first, if you go to products here, you see that we have Power BI Desktop, we know it, we have Power BI Pro and we have Power BI Premium. So actually two things we see right here. In earlier days, things were like that. You had Power BI Desktop, which you know now, then you had Power BI Service, which was free generally, and then you had Power BI Pro, which is the pro version, the paid version of Power BI Service. And then you have Power BI Premium, which you can see to the right right here, which is for advanced business use cases. As a quick overview, you can also scroll down a bit right here, link is provided in the video description, and here you can find out about the differences between Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. What I can tell you for the moment is that first, if you consider the price, Power BI Pro $10 per month and Power BI Premium $5,000 per month and the focus of the course, which is getting started with Power BI in general, Power BI Pro is totally sufficient here. However, as I said, this was the past, Power BI Desktop, Power BI Service, Power BI Pro and Power BI Premium. Today, Power BI or Microsoft is not completely strict about their naming, so you will find Power BI Service also in some parts of Power BI Desktop, for example. Generally, we will keep things as follows. Power BI Desktop is the local application. Power BI Service is the cloud application and Power BI Pro is the paid version of that cloud application. Now it's important to understand that you can use Power BI Service without paying anything, but then you don't have any sharing or collaboration options. Therefore, it's only helpful basically to upload your data to the cloud in the end. But once it comes to sharing and collaborating, you need such a pro version of Power BI Service. And as you can see, this pro version is about $10 per month. However, if you never used Power BI Pro before, you can get a free trial down here. If you click on to try free, you can now register. So you need an account and very important, this account must be a business email. I'm sorry for the German here, I cannot change the language, but it just tells you that you have to use a business or university email here. This means email addresses like at gmail.com won't work. There is a workaround for this problem and you can find an article how this workaround works attached to this video or in the next lecture. But generally you have to have a work, school or university email here. Otherwise you cannot register for Power BI service and furthermore for Power BI Pro. However, if you have this email and if you register for the first time, you get a 60 days free trial of Power BI Pro, which comes with all the sharing and collaborating options. So please finish this registration process right here. And once you've finished this registration, you can go back to powerbi.microsoft.com and here you can now go to sign in. Here you then have to enter your email and the corresponding password. And then we are here in Power BI Service or Power BI Pro, as I will call it throughout the rest of the course now, for the first time. Now we could get started directly with seeing how we can now bring our project to the cloud. But first, as we did it in Power BI Desktop, I would like to get started with a quick interface tour to make sure you know where we are here and what you can do right here. 